Hello everyone, this is week 5 of Machine Learning Zoom Camp and in this week we will talk about deploying machine learning models. Previously we trained the churn prediction model and we evaluated it. So this week we will take the model we trained previously, we evaluated previously and we will deploy it as a web service. I created a Jupyter Notebook with the code we used previously, so it contains all the code from week 3 and 4. Well, at least the most important code for training the model and this model stayed in the Jupyter Notebook. So what we want to do is we want to take this model, this model, so the, the logistic regression we trained, we want to save it and we want to use it. The way we want to use it is, let's say we have a Jupyter Notebook. So in this notebook we train a model, so we have this model. So what we want to do with this model is to save it to a file. Then we want to load this file from a different process, web service, we'll call it churn service, which will have this model inside. And remember the use case we discussed is that we want to identify churning users. So let's say we have some other service, it can be marketing service. This marketing service contains the information about uh, all the users that we have. And then for some of the users, let's say we want to identify whether this user is going to churn. So what marketing service can do is send a request to the churn service with information about the user. Then they get back the predictions. And based on these predictions, the marketing service can decide whether they want to send a promotional email, let's say with a 25% discount. So what we want to cover this week is this part. So the part where we take our Jupyter Notebook, take our model, save this model, and then um, load this model by the churn service, by a web service. And then we will also see how to interact with this service. So this is the focus of this week. And to be able to do this, say we have our model. So this is the model that we have from the previous weeks, right? our churn prediction model. And then we will put this model inside a web service. And we will use Flask for that, which is a framework for creating web services in Python. Then we want to isolate the dependencies for this service in such a way that they don't interfere with uh, other services that we have on our machine. So we want to create a special environment for Python dependencies. And for that, we will use ppenf. Then we add another layer on top. This layer will be a layer with system dependencies. And for that, we will use Docker. And then finally, after all that, what we will do is we will deploy this in a cloud. So this is cloud. So we'll take the container and deploy it to AWS Elastic Beanstalk. So you can think of this as layers. So first we have a model, then we have a web service, then we have virtual environment for this and for keeping Python dependencies, then we have a Docker container and then we deploy this Docker container in the cloud. And this is roughly the plan for this week. This is exactly what we will cover. So we'll start with uh, saving and loading the model with Pickle. Then we'll talk about web services and we will talk about Flask, which is a framework for creating web services. Then we will talk about creating a churn prediction web service with Flask. After that, we will uh, cover dependency management, environment manager management with ppenf. Then we'll talk about Docker. And then finally, we will talk about deploying this to the cloud. So for this, uh, we will use AWS and uh, one of the services from AWS called Elastic Beanstalk. It doesn't mean you have to use it. You can think of this as optional lesson. So if you want to find out more how to use AWS for doing this, but you're free to explore and try other alternatives. And then at the end, we have this explore more session where I give you some pointers where you can actually try to deploy this model. So that's the plan for this week. And in the next lesson, what we'll do is we will take this notebook with all the code, we will save a model into a file, and we will also extract this notebook and turn this into a Python script. So see you soon.